Hello there, and welcome to another Dark Souls 2 boss tutorial. Today's boss is the Belfry Gargoyles. Now friends, I try to make these videos just a little bit funny, but let's be serious here for a second. There is nothing funny about being attacked by six fire breathing stone gargoyles on top of a church building. And friends, we're gonna need to be short of these gargoyles or we're gonna have trouble out of So let's learn on how to kill these little bastards. As you walk out onto the building, you're gonna be noticed that you're gonna fight two gargoyles. Now, fighting two gargoyles at a time isn't really much of a thing. When there are two gargoyles out fighting you, they're gonna be doing one of two attacks. First, they have a two hit swing combo. Second, they have an air combo where they're gonna go into the air and they're gonna jump at you. When you get one of the gargoyles down to 50% of his life, a third gargoyle is then going to spawn into the fight. When this happens, the gargoyle that is at 50% of his health is then going to switch over to do magic attacks. The magic attacks that he can do include a fire attack. He can either fly up into the air and rain fire down on you from the heavens, or if he's feeling a little lazy, he can just stay down on the building and shoot a cone of fire at you. Alternatively, he could do a lightning attack, where he stands there and charges it up for a second and then <laughs> Yes, yeah, right. It's pretty easy to notice that he's doing that, so just back away from him. Now, it stands to reason that if you're fighting two gargoyles, and you get one of them down to 50% of the health, and the third one spawns in, that if you were to then switch targets and get another one down to 50% of its health, that a fourth one will spawn in, and a fifth one, and then eventually all six if you do it that way. I would absolutely not recommend doing that. Continue to focus on the lowest health gargoyle so you have as few gargoyles out as you can. Now, I'd like to disclaimer this footage and say that you're gonna need to be a lot more aggressive on this fight than I was. You see, I was taking my time on this one, trying to learn, trying to understand everything my enemy did so I could share the information with my friends here on the internet. If I had to go back and do it all again, I would definitely be more aggressive. I would absolutely switch to two-handed weapon when I was going in for an attack so that I could get the gargoyles down quicker because fighting three gargoyles at a time is really not ideal. You'll notice time and time again in this here footage that they jump over me and attack me from behind, and I wasn't really paying enough attention to notice that they were behind me, so I get hit from behind over and over again. The gargoyles do seem to take extra damage from lightning, so if you have lightning magic, or you got a lightning sword like I have here, I would absolutely recommend to use it even if it's not your best weapon. Some things that I would recommend is constantly switching your target to the one that's closest to you until you're ready to get an attack. Because there's something in this game known as a dead angle, where if you're not facing your enemy straight on, they can still hit you even though you got your shield up. So you're always gonna kinda wanna be facing the one that's closest to you while you're maneuvering your way around the pack. If you're nice and patient, and you take your time and you be careful, you're gonna beat the Belfry Gargoyles. Once you do, they're gonna reward you with 25,000 souls, as well as the soul of the Belfry Gargoyle. We hope you enjoyed today's Dark Souls 2 boss tutorial. At the end of this video, there's gonna be some extra footage of me fighting the boss, pretty much like everybody else's tutorials, which are pretty much just a video of them beating it which doesn't really help you because they're a lot better than you and they just go in and do it perfect and don't tell you nothing about the fight. That's why mine are better. But if you should like to watch that footage, it's gonna be there so you can kind of get a better idea of what it was that I did. Do keep in mind though, I was being extra passive. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more Dark Souls 2 and other gaming content. Also, I'd like some feedback down in the comments I have two people that seem to like this, but if you liked it or if you hated it, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Goodbye.